and welcome everyone. Got a little thing today to do with pipe sizing. Uh, this is because one of my subscribers out there asked me about pipe sizes and which was which and especially the flexi thing, how much flex you should give in the line when it's being connected up. Uh, she had a, a feed to a WC system uh, that was leaking at the cistern valve nut end and running down the copper pipe so she wanted to cut that off uh, and fit a flexi but wasn't sure of sizing so I thought I would just go through pipe sizing now I know to a lot of you that are well up on it all uh, this is like you know absolutely <laughs> what are we doing this for but believe me there's a lot of people out there that really haven't got too much of an idea and I don't blame them we're not all plumbers like me and probably maybe a few of you that are looking <laughs> so we're just going to go through the pipe sizes first all right so a few bits on the side here that I'm going to show you uh, we start with the copper tube and this is what we call microbore pipe and this is a piece of 10 millimeter pipe you would only generally find that on central heating circuits to radiators okay that's usually the only place in England anyway that you find this stuff. More common is this which is the 15 mil copper tube. This pipe is virtually universal everywhere and is the most widely found piece of pipe that you'll find in your house today. Does most central heating circuits, does the feeds to tanks, copper pipe, systems, everything is usually more likely done in this 15 mil copper. So this is the most popular one. And what a few of you got in your houses as well is this uh, 22 mil pipe. And this is quite widely used as well. You'll find this uh, on central heating runs on the first part of circuits. Gas feeds to combi boilers before it gets to the boiler. Uh, the last three or six feet would be 15, but you might find the whole run is running this. Uh, also coal feeds from roof tanks uh, to give adequate pressure they're running 22 mil like this and also uh, the hot feed out of hot water cylinders on f &E systems will be run in 22 and then when it gets to the taps reduced down to 15 to feed the tap so this is also this size is quite widely used all right so not as popular as 15 but it's still widely out there okay and that's that's how it looks Lastly there is 28mm copper tube, which I haven't got a bit to show you but it's the really bigger stuff again uh, and that's generally just used on F&E systems for flower returns usually to the hot water cylinder uh, but it's not so widely used now or seen about with the advent of combi boilers but it is still there but obviously I'm not probably showing you that because that's probably well beyond the skill of DIY <laughs> okay so after that we're going to now look at uh, flexes Okay, so 15mm flexi, here's one, it's quite a long one. Uh, they come like this, the nut and cone for the other end, usually fastened on that, it's not been used yet to go on that end. That end will go on the copper pipe and that will probably go onto either a ball valve thread or it could be a tap thread. Generally where you find these is either going to feed a tap where it's being connected to the bottom of the tap or a toilet system valve or indeed even a root tank valve, you'll find it like one of these and that's generally what they're used and never used on central heating never use them on there okay <laughs> okay now generally another size you get is you can get a 15 mil short one with a valve on it like so and if I show it like that you see it's got an arrow showing the direction of the feed this again is a very useful one it goes on the pipe and it goes up to say a valve on a toilet system we'll say in this case and it means you can turn the water off just by turning that valve with a screwdriver and you don't have to turn the whole mains off once you've fitted one of these so very handy they come different size looking I mean here's another one and you can see it's quite a lot thicker than that one uh, it's just still 15 mil <laughs> I know it looks thicker on the outside which it is it's probably slightly thicker but the internal what we count on is still 15 mil again it's another one with a valve on it uh, but it just happens that this one is made thicker uh, it's not so flexible, so these are probably better, but uh, these ones are out there that are a lot thicker. So the last question I've been asked is how to fit these, how much flex do you give in them, because you can bend them and bow them of course, but I'll show you one that I've fitted to the toilet system upstairs which is about the right amount of flex. Here then is one I fitted to the uh, toilet system some time back and as you can see it's just a nice gradual bend on the flexi up to the nut 
um, on the system. So, so when you offer these up for cutting, you know, you literally do just get it around about right where the nut's going to go onto the valve, for instance, and just give it a little bit of a bow, take a little bit of a bend out of it like that. So generally you tend to cut it so that you get just a little bit of a bend like that. And that's the idea of these, that you can bend them as you want them to take the set out because years ago, well not that long really, when we had to do it, copper pipe, we'd have to have bent it on a bending machine. So if you can imagine what it used to be like, uh, we'd have to cut the feed off because when you fit a new toilet or fit new taps even, you'd find you probably had to fit a new piece of pipe as well because it was short or whatever. Uh, but with these now, you can just obviously set the angle as you want. No problem, and it's fine to bend these that much. You can don't go like that. They're not meant to do that, <laughs> right? <laughs> don't go as I've seen on some like this. You know, connecting a pipe like that and going up like that. That is not how to use a flexi. Okay, it's just a nice smooth bend. Okay, to your fit, and, you, and that sort of bend is is okay. All right, something like that. Just so don't go too. Are minutes. you saying then you do so? So if the pipe is coming up through the floor at one place, but then you need to connect it to another place. It bends to the shape rather than having lots of bends and elbows and yeah, nuts. yeah you can you can bend these. I mean, they are they are only for connecting to either a a system valve, a roof tank valve, or taps generally, and they're only to be used on domestic plumbing side. That is the cold water and hot side. Never on central eating. <laughs> Okay. okay, you don't use these to bend onto radiator valves because it would be easy, wouldn't it? If you had the bit of pipe sticking up to the floor and stuck this on the rat valve, you could make life easy, but it's not not for that. Okay, they they're not to be used on there, but for cold hot water supplies, perfect. So if that, that answers. No, no, I have another question. How would you cut it if it's too long? You have to cut the pipe. You don't cut these. Okay, it's the pipe that you cut. You cut it off. And then you use this instead of the set that would be there in the right. copper tube. Okay. So where the, the copper tube is going like that, you could just cut it off the set and use that instead as your set. And uh, it saves you a lot of grief. Yeah. <laughs> so for the lady that asked me that question, uh, that sorts it out for you. Um, that's it really. All my stuff, usual place to go to Derrick and 33. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.